today, the 13th, and if you remember, I mentioned that Milo is getting neutered Monday the 14th, which is tomorrow. I have to drop him off at 8.15 in the morning, and he'll be getting neutered and getting his um, umbilical cord hernia uh, repaired. So today, I thought I would get the area, which will be over here, next to my dining room table, get the floor clean and get everything kind of moved over and set up the pen area I'm going to have for him. Um, I'm going to have it set up so when I'm busy during the day and can't be keeping an eye on him, he can be in the pen so he's not being too rambunctious with the other boys, jumping on and off furniture, and just to keep him quiet and calm, as calm as I can. <laughs> When I'm not busy doing anything, I can of course be out there and watching him so he can roam around the house. But I need this pen area set up so when I'm busy, he can be in there and I don't have to worry about him um, uh, ripping stitches out. So I did already buy him a uh, onesie to wear. Um, it's just a cheap little onesie. It was $3 I think at um, JCPenney. It says, I get lots of likes. I don't know if you can see that or not. I thought it was cute and it's the brand okie dokie Milo is six months old and this 18 month old onesie fits him great and it's loose enough so it's not pushing on his stitches um, I will cut a little hole here in the back I'll put this on him later today and find where his tail goes because I know dogs don't like to have their tails restricted so I'll cut a little hole in there because he's only going to wear it this one t one time when he gets um, neutered because he's going to grow and this isn't going to fit him anymore. So I'm going to cut a little hole there for his tail so it doesn't bug him too much. But I like putting onesies on them um, to keep them from their stitches because dogs hate those cones. I hate those cones. <laughs> and onesies work great for keeping dogs from licking and biting at their stitches. So I also made sure to have some... Um, extra bully sticks so when he's in his pen he has something to chew on and I also have some extra pork chomps uh, these little knots he loves these so I have some of those for him to chew on as well and then I will also put some of his favorite toys um, in the pen too so I thought today I would get this area cleaned up and then I'll show you what it looks like um, when I'm done
guys, we've got the pen all set up for Milo when he comes home tomorrow. I put a chair inside of it to help hold it in case he jumps on the fencing. If someone comes to the door, the dogs start barking so it doesn't knock the fencing over. I also cable tied it to a dining room chair to help hold it. I put a blanket on the floor and I put a dog bed in there for him. And then tomorrow I will also put a couple, a bully stick and a chew in there for him, a couple of his favorite toys and a bowl of water for him. And like I said, he will not be kept in this pen 24 seven. So please don't comment that I'm being cruel. This is so I can keep him safe um, and keep him healing well from getting neutered so he doesn't rip a stitch. Um, if I'm having to cook dinner, if I have to clean the house, if I have to go to the basement to throw in a load of laundry, this is for when I can't put, give him a hundred percent of my attention. I don't want him jumping on furniture. I don't want him jumping, jumping, um, up and down off the beds. I don't want him being too rambunctious with the other boys. So this is for his own safety. Um, because he's a dog. He's not going to know, oh, I need to take it easy. I just had surgery. <laughs> So this is where I'm going to keep him when I can't keep my eyes on him constantly. Okay, so I'm going to end this little bit here and then I will come back tomorrow um, and give an update on Milo and his surgery and how it all went. Well, it is Monday. It's 8.24 in the morning. I just got back from dropping off Milo. Um... The boys are happy. They finally get to eat breakfast. I got up at 7. Oh, about quarter to 7. And <laughs> the boys are so used to when I get up, I let them outside and then I immediately feed them. Well, today I couldn't do that because Milo couldn't have anything after midnight last night. I even have their um, bones up here and they keep... Like, Maggie's like, what about our bones, Mom? <laughs> they were just having a fit. Just staring at me, following me, like, where's our breakfast? Where's our bones? <laughs> so Milo's at the vet. Um, they're going to call me when he's all done later on this afternoon. And I will check in then. It is 1.30. The vet just called and said that everything went great. Milo's in recovery and we can pick him up at 3.30. So my mind is now at ease. Um, I think I'm going to go tan and relax for a little bit before I have to pick him up. Why are you going under there? <laughs> Why are you going under there, Marley? <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to get on here real quick before I take off um, to talk about a video that just posted today, Monday. Um, on me taking photos of the boys. And I've gotten a lot of comments about Kitten, that people feel I ignore him, that I sh he didn't get a treat. Why didn't I put him in the photo? <laughs> well, when I'm making that, when I was making that video, my main focus was to get these boys' pictures done that day. I needed a new cover photo for a couple on my Patreon, on my Facebook. I needed a new profile picture. I wanted um, pictures that weren't Christmassy with their Christmas bandanas with the Christmas tree in the background. So my main focus that day was to get those pictures done. And if you've ever taken pictures of six dogs together, you know it can be hard. Um, even though it may have looked easy, sometimes it can be really hard. And my focus was to get it done. I wanted that done that day. So, while Kitten didn't get a treat, which they were dog treats, they were not cat treats, I do give Kitten some dog treats, like the chicken chips, I'll break off a little piece, or the um, freeze-dried liver treats that someone sent. I will give him certain treats that are dog treats, but not all. Um, and you can tell this cat is not underfed. <laughs> he gets plenty of special treats, too, just like the boys. And a re the reason I don't focus on kitten a lot in the videos is because this is a channel about my dogs. That does not mean kitten is not loved. And it kind of hurts my heart to think that some people would think that I'm ignoring him or 
that I wouldn't treat him the same when he is. He's very much spoiled. He's the boss of the house over these boys. <laughs> He gets his special playtime when the boys go to bed with his toys. Um, I make sure that Kitten is very comfortable. Um, we, If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen my video about Kitten and how he came into our family, which I'll link that down below, Kitten was found and he's going to clean himself now. You're going to clean yourself. Every time I turn on the camera, you want to clean yourself. Oh, well, he's cleaning himself. Um... My mom found him and his brother and sister in her ditch. Probably, we figured they were only probably a week old. Still had umbilical cords on them. And we decided to bring Kitten into our home. At that time, we had two other kitties and our dog, Ginger. Um, so, I had to feed this kitty with a bottle. I had to help... If you don't know, when kittens are real little, their mamas have to lick them to help them go pee and poop. I had to help, not by licking him, <laughs> I had to help stimulate him to help him pee and poop. This kitten has a special piece of my heart. So I just want everyone to know that. And I feel terrible having to come on here and say that, but I had a lot of comments that I ignored kitten. He didn't get a treat. Blah, blah, blah. So I just wanted to come on and just say this kitty is spoiled rotten and you may not see it because this dog this channel focuses on my dogs um but don't worry kitten is very much loved and this is why i don't film him a lot because he's usually just cleaning himself or sleeping during the day um whenever i'm taking the boys pictures it's almost like he likes to when he was walking around pacing and all that and rubbing on the chair it's not because he wants to get in the photo. Let me tell you, he's teasing them basically like, ha ha. <laughs> I don't have to do this and you do. <laughs> but um, anyways, okay, I'll take it off him cleaning himself. He would not get up there and pose with the dogs. He would, as soon as I sat him down, he would jump down. Because when we took our picture at Christmas time with my family and myself holding the boys, we tried to get him to sit on the back of the couch and he was not having it. As soon as we sat him down, he was gone. So if you've owned kitties, you know, they they have a mind of their own. They they don't want none of that. They, they do what they want when they want. So, okay, I just wanted to put this in here. I don't want to ramble on too much about it, but Kitten is loved. Don't worry. He gets lots of treats. You can tell. He's a big kitty. He, he actually, in the past 10 years, has lost 12 pounds because um, when we just had our three kitties and Ginger... I was bad and didn't know any better and I let the cats free feed and Kitten would overeat. And he's actually lost 12 pounds since 10 years ago. So I have to be very strict on his eating habits too and with the treats. So, okay, I'm going to go tan and then we're going to pick Milo up at 3.30. Bring that boy home. All right, Milo is home. I have a harness on him so I can take him out on a leash when he has to go potty so he isn't running around. Um, I brought him home to see if he had to go potty and he just cried and I was like, I think he wants his brothers out here. So I had Tom uh, let out Max and Mozzie because they're the least to be rough with him or try to play. And as soon as they came out, he peed. <laughs> so I have him in his uh, crate right now. Because he really need, he's t he's very tired. He's still kind of out of it. Um, he, I'm kind of keeping an eye on him to see if he messes with his stitches. And if he does, I'll have to put that onesie on him. But I'm going to keep that harness on him so it's easy to uh, just hook his leash up, carry him out, and let him go potty. So, yes, he's very groggy. So I think he'll probably be sleeping um, most of the rest of the day. It is 4 o'clock. So... I will probably, and they said he did really good, and when they tried to give him some food, he fell asleep with his face in the food dish. <laughs> when he was eating, he fell asleep. So, you can probably see he's, he's just kind of almost falling asleep. They already gave him pain meds, so I don't have to start his pain meds till tomorrow at noon. So, I'm just going to keep him in here for most of the rest of the night, let him rest, and, uh, keep the dogs from jumping on him. He looks like he's about to fall over. Look at him. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell. Just lay down Milo. Just rest. Yeah. So I will do a check-in tomorrow. Tuesday. 
Happy Tuesday, guys. It is Tuesday the 15th, and I thought I'd give an update on mine, though, but first I wanted to show you <laughs> the miserableness of the boys because I have the curtain shut and they can't get in the window. I have them shut because I'm trying to keep everybody calm today to help keep Milo calm so he's not jumping up and trying to get crazy um, <laughs> with his incisions. And these guys are mad because the mailman just came and they couldn't get in the window to bark at him. <laughs> They're so funny. You guys are so funny. Especially Mozzie. Mozzie loves waiting for that mailman to come and bark at him. So anyways, they're kind of upset at me right now because the curtains are shut. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to show you that I moved the pen out to the living room. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm having a lot of sinus drainage. Um, just a lot of sinus drainage because the weather here has been crazy this winter. <laughs> it's been crazy. It's finally cold. I don't have to wipe their feet anymore when they come in. But yeah, so, but now I'm feeling it. I'm starting to... I don't know if I just have a getting a sinus infection or a cold. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, I moved the pen out to the living room because while it was okay um, when I had it out there, when I was trying to keep him contained when we first brought him home, um, just so I could do things, <clears throat> it wasn't working out for this because I needed to be able to see if he was messing with his incisions, how he was doing, stuff like that. And when I was in the living room, I just couldn't see him well enough being in the kitchen. So I decided to move it out here because most of the time someone is out here, especially when my husband's home from work or whatever, one of us is out here and we can keep an eye on him. So I moved the end table um, and I moved the lamp over here so I could put the pen back here to keep an eye on him. So I still have a bed in there. I have some shoes, some toys. I have a water dish in there. And he's been fine in there. He's chewing on his bully stick right now. Um, I'm not keeping him in there all the time. I've been letting him roam around the house while I'm sitting out here, especially since I have the curtains shut. Um, nobody's really been trying to get on the back of the love seat. So he's been roaming around. Um, he's doing good. I put his onesie on him last night um, because I was going to be sleeping. I couldn't keep an eye on him. And I thought, well, I'll put his onesie on him, make sure, keep him away from the incisions. And this morning when I woke up to let him out of his crate, I noticed it wasn't on him. And I thought, oh my God, did he chew it off? Was he messing with his incisions all night? Did the snaps come loose? But when I grabbed the onesie, the snaps were still connected. There was no chew marks, nothing on it. It was in perfect condition. So somehow he wiggled out of that thing. <laughs> and it didn't look, <clears throat> excuse me, it didn't look like he had messed with his incisions at all. They looked perfectly fine. I checked them over. Um, let me let him out. Hold on, guys. Okay, he had wanted out. He had been in there because I was in cleaning the um, kitchen up from breakfast. Anyways, um... I checked him over and his incisions were fine, so he hadn't been messing with them. He just somehow became Houdini and wiggled out of that onesie. <laughs> so I don't think I'll put it on him tonight. I think he'll be okay because honestly, I haven't caught him really messing with his incisions. It's like he, I don't know, right now, it's like he don't even know they're there almost. So, which is really weird because all my other boys, I had to keep them from them, especially Magnum. I had to have a onesie on him for a couple days, it seems like. But he's been doing great, and I've been keeping his harness on him because I'm taking him out with a leash so he doesn't run around the yard, doesn't get too crazy playing, and he's been fine with that. So it's been great we bit, that we had been taking him on walks, getting him used to the leash because he's totally fine with going to the bathroom with me out there with him and having a leash on. So he's doing great. I gave him a pain pill just a little bit ago. Um, they told me to wait to start today because they had already given him pain medication. So, um, he's got enough for three days, I believe. And if anybody's curious how much it costs, it cost $253 for his neutering and for his, uh, umbilical cord hernia repair. Cause I know a couple of people were wondering how much it was going to cost. And I wasn't sure. I knew it was around $200, but I wasn't sure with that umbilical cord hernia repair. And that cost like $39. So that's how much it cost. And um, he's doing great. 
So I wanted to do just a quick check-in today and I'll end the video here. I think this boy is going to be wanting to run around and play here in the next couple days. <laughs> yes, he already was trying to last night. He slept in his crate for about, oh, three, three and a half hours after we brought him home. When we brought him home, I let him out and then I put him in his crate because he was just so tired. And he slept about three, three and a half hours. And when he woke up, I could tell the anesthesia had, it had worn off and he was acting as a normal self. So he's really doing great. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here so it's not too long. Um, and we will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.